Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit. And I'm feeling pumped up right now and just super grateful. And I wanted to share this moment with all you guys because I just spent the last couple of hours going through all my 2023 accomplishments. I really took time to reflect on everything I did, everything I accomplished. And, you know, mainly just in business is what I'm sharing with you guys here. But I actually put out a post on my YouTube community tab. You could also check it out um, on my Facebook Rake and Profit fan page. But I wrote out 67 things that I accomplished and my mind is blown. And uh, I want to make this video for a couple reasons. Number one, I want to challenge you to take, you know, an hour or two before the new year starts and reflect on how far you've come in 2023. And I'll be honest, I've been doing this for seven, eight years. Some years it's more challenging than others. Um, you know, in some particular years, I really accomplish a lot and I crush it and I can just like write out all these things that I accomplished and the same will probably go for you. But still, even if you had a year of struggle and challenge, take time to just, I don't know, like give yourself a pat on the back for how far you've come. I'll tell you right now, life's not easy. And you know, there's a lot of challenges, especially moving into 2024 that we're all going through. Um, there's always challenges in business and, you know, just with everything going on in the economy and inflation. I mean, give yourself a pat on the back if you started your business, if you grew your business, if you hit milestones. And, uh, you know, I've made videos in the past about my struggles with mental health and a lot of it probably stems from childhood, so on and so forth. But I find myself from time to time just feeling like, man, did I really accomplish as much as I could have? You know, did I do good enough? Did I serve? Did I help? Did I really grow my business the most, you know, or the best that I could? And every time I do this exercise every single year, it just feels fantastic. And again, you can check out my accomplishments on the YouTube community tab. I'll put a link in the comments down below. Um, to a Google Doc so you can check that out. And it's not like the purpose isn't to brag or boast, right? We're all running our own race and we're all trying to do the best we can and grow and, you know, make money and make a difference. And, uh, you know, I'm just feeling really, really grateful. So I challenge you to do that. Go ahead and just spend some time writing down all the things that you accomplished. And then from that feeling, start writing and creating and designing your 2024 because it's up to you. I could promise you right now, and I've realized this the older I've gotten, people don't care about you as much as you think. They're not paying attention to you. Yes, they might leave some nasty comments or they might make a comment in real life or around the dinner table or for me, like in the YouTube comments. But at the end of the day, nobody cares about you besides like your friends and family and, and your close relatives and whatnot. And maybe even then, you know, maybe they don't care as much as you think. I hate to say it, but everybody's busy with their own lives. And what I wanna share is you've gotta take care of yourself. I'm telling you right now, you've gotta work on yourself. You've gotta develop yourself. You've gotta be grateful. You've gotta set your intentions and you've got to push the boundaries in your life to grow. I mean, for anyone following me over the last 10 years, I've been doing this year in and year out, just learning more, investing more, pushing the envelope further and further. And uh, you know, you might be surprised how far you've come in your business. Now, another thing that I've been thinking about as I've been reflecting over you know, my 2023 accomplishments, and I had a lot of them, right? I launched a bunch of programs. I doubled my my sales on Amazon FBA. I created my, um, my first software, which I'm really proud of. I optimized my business like crazy. I hired a bunch of people in my business. I became a millionaire. I hit the million dollar net worth after 10 years in business. One thing that I realized, okay, and I'm gonna try to not be a jerk about this, but it's probably gonna come off that way, but I'm actually, I'm okay with that. You wanna know why? Because the reality is, I'm gonna tell you right now, people have a big mouth. People have a big opinion. People like to chirp and tell you what's best for you, but guess what? In your heart, you know what you need to do. And if you believe, like for example, I'll give one example right now because it's related to you know this channel on Amazon. Everybody told me, literally over the last 10 years, people have been telling me, you're gonna get kicked off of Amazon for thrifting. You're gonna get kicked off for selling stuff from garage sales. You don't have invoices. You don't have chain of custody. And I remember two years ago, people were just yapping and these people had no experience or if they did have experience, they had an ego or they had an agenda because maybe they had their own community or their own course. And of course there's some you know, uh, truth to that, right? But I remember two years ago thinking to myself, Man, I got into a car accident. I don't really wanna drive around and thrift anymore. I don't wanna to go to garage sales. Like, 
I'm getting older. Like I want to build a business that I could do from home that doesn't rely on me just pushing my physical body. And I knew that, you know, a couple of years before I'd done some eBay to Amazon flips, but everybody, everybody told me, you can't do it. You, you're going to get kicked off. All it's going to take is Amazon asking one time. And the reality is now that I think back, I'm so glad I didn't listen to people who had their own agenda or people who, you know, they just didn't know the, the difference between their ass and their elbow. Right. Um, and now I think back and I've done over a million dollars in sales. I've been able to work from home. I've been able to build an amazing virtual team. And again, if you don't like what I'm doing, don't watch my channel, unsubscribe. And this is how you have to be in your life, guys. I'm telling you right now, and this is coming from someone who's become a millionaire. This is someone who doesn't just talk the talk. I've been walking the walk. I quit my job 10 years ago, documented the whole damn journey on YouTube and never went back to a job. You can like me or hate me, but at the end of the day, this channel is called Rake and Profit. And the whole goal is to rake in that profit to be able to build a business, to be able to quit your job. So you can love me, hate me, whatever, but I did it and I made it happen. And I talk from experience and I'm telling you right now, you might be trying to grow an eBay business, right? You might be doing a side hustle. You might be, you know, doing a particular model or reselling and you got your family doubting you. You got the girlfriend chirping. You got people making comments. You got people kind of laughing at you and maybe your car is still kind of beat up. Maybe you're still living at home with your parents and maybe you, you know, you're growing, you're in that phase where you're building and people don't see those results yet because it takes time and they're doubting you and you want to give them and quit. Do not quit. Do not listen to these people who are going to doubt you. They're negative. Okay. They're negative. All they have their own agenda. They have an ego. They are negative. They literally don't want to see you win. And the reality is when you start winning, people are okay when you start winning. But as long as you're not winning more than they are, as long as you're not getting ahead more than they are, when they see you pushing outside your comfort zone, growing and, you know, taking risks. And again, this isn't about doing what I do and doing eBay to Amazon or doing YouTube or coaching. Like, do whatever you want to do. I don't care. Like, honestly, like, but seriously, people are going to judge you. They're gonna put you down and when you start doing better, that's a reflection of them not growing and evolving and it hurts them, it hurts them a lot. So I'm telling you right now, think about everything that you've done this year, reflect. Even if you've only gotten two or three steps forward and you you know, you know wanted to get 50 steps forward and maybe you had a goal of doing 20,000 a month and you only did 500, congratulate yourself, okay? Be proud of yourself, okay? And I'll tell you right now, growth and growing your business and hitting your marks and your milestones and just quitting your job and doing whatever, right? Whatever your goal is, okay? It all stems from gratitude and it all stems from coming from a place of just being proud of yourself and understanding that life's not easy and life's challenging at times. And sometimes there's circumstances that come up that hold you back, but you want to know what? 2024 is a brand new year. You can do it one step at a time, one day at a time. If you take care of your days, those days are gonna take care of the weeks. You take care of those weeks, they're gonna take care of the months, and those months are gonna take care of the new year. Set a goal, set an attention, go after it, learn from people who are really doing this. And again, I'm gonna say this a million times because there's gonna be some dumbasses in the comments who say some, you know, excuse my language, just some, some bogus stuff. Follow your heart, do what you have to do, okay? You know what I've realized moving forward in 2024? The purpose of this YouTube channel isn't to get you guys to do what I do, right? It's just not like my new goal for this channel is to give two shits how many views it gets. I'm going to document my journey. I'm going to speak truth. Okay. At least my truth. I'm going to share my wins. I'm going to share my losses. I'm going to share my victories and I'm going to share my insecurities because you want to know what moving into 2024 and really over the last couple of years, people are full of shit. I hate to say, it, excuse my language. I'm going to have to put a, a language warning in this video, but people are so full of shit. It's not even funny. They're walking around wearing a mask, wearing a costume, waving their big, you know what around. It's like, you know what? Just go screw yourself. Honestly, like don't put people down who are trying to help and serve and give and make a difference. And you want to know what, if you're trying to grow and you got people putting you down, screw them, run your race, pace yourself in this marathon, make a difference each and every day. Choose a couple things each and every day to attack, write down a huge list of things you want to do and pick the three things that are going to move you forward the most and keep doing that. Because even if you don't do 10 things a day and just three things a day, those wins, they stack on each other. They stack from day to week to month. And I'll tell you right now, two, three, four, five, six years go by and people look at you and they say, oh, he's lucky. He's a scammer, right? Oh, he doesn't have invoices, but it's like people don't realize that your success isn't luck. It's hard work. It's patience. It's consistency. It's pushing forward. So my new motto for 2024, I'm running my own race. 
I'm sharing my journey. I'm documenting. I don't care how many views I get. I don't care if people like one of my challenges over the years is like, and it probably stems again from childhood and whatnot. It's like, I want people to like me. And you know, sometimes I'll play on the fence. No more. I'm not playing on the fence anymore. I'm coming with the truth. I'm documenting. I'm sharing my journey. And you want to know what? Why? Because I've been winning for the last 10 years. While some of you guys, I know probably not you watching, but some of you guys are freaking losers. All you do is hate. All you do is bring people down. How many YouTube videos do you have on your channel? None. How much value do you add in the groups? None. How much do you just bring people down and just, you're negative, right? And this, this <laughs> you know, obviously I'm getting into my old world with YouTube, but how many people do you have in, you know, maybe... Maybe you share your numbers on your personal Facebook page and someone's putting you down. What are they doing with their lives? How many people's lives are they changing, right? And we're not, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect. I have a million mistakes you guys don't even know about and things that, you know, we all have things. If we shared it on the internet, people would never want to talk to you again. But ask yourself, what are they doing? You're trying to grow. You're learning every day. You're reading books. You're trying to build your business. So get after it. 2024 is here, guys. Let's make it happen. Much love and appreciate you guys.